Hey everybody, Dave Scott from My My TV here today in Indian River where Payback Bass is handing out cash to the best bass fishermen in the state and actually some people from all over the country. It's an exciting bass tournament that really typifies how amazing outdoor activities and fishing in particular is right here in Indian River. Let's take a look. We're in Indian River, Michigan, up north, just outside of Sheboygan. Uh, the lakes that we fish here are Crooked, Pickerel, uh, Burton Mullet. Uh, we come the first week of June every year. This is our sixth or seventh year in a row. Um, have about 100, and, between 100 and 150 anglers that show up. Uh, five biggest fish win the money. Pretty big prizes out here. Um, the reason why we come is the fishing's awesome here in the spring. Come next week when the schools get out, you'll have all the other tourism come through and it, the fishing will go downhill fast because you have all the jet skiers and skiers and boaters and tubers. But right now it's still pretty good. Water's still a little too cold for them, so this is where we come. A lot of the places up here, your elk and torch chain, uh, a, a lot of them have the chains that go on between, you know, three, four, five different lakes. Um, and a lot of the lakes in Michigan also flow into a great lake like this one. You can go all the way up, up through Chicago again and get to Lake Huron and your right and Lake Michigan on your left. And I don't know if any of these guys did today, but there are guys that have fished our tournament that go all the way to the Mackinac Bridge and fish out on Lake Huron, Lake Michigan. There's tournaments out there nowadays that people can win $100,000 tournament up to, I've, I've actually have a couple guys that are here right now fish for a million dollars last fall. So, and actually one of them got third place or fourth place and almost won a million dollars. So yeah, there's some big money into it. I think the other thing that makes it great is the bass tastes like crap. So we catch them. We weigh the five in, we release them, they swim away, they go back to, to the lakes, they don't die. We might we might lose one, two percent, if, if any at all. Um, other than that, they go back and to be honest, we probably catch them again next year. So why did you pick Indian River for this weekend's event? Uh, it's really good fishing. I mean, that's what it is. The bass are awesome to catch right now. They're on beds, they're not very hard. You get to, it's almost like playing a video game because you're watching them most of the time. You get them to react to your bait. It's the only time of the year it's like this. So yeah, it's just, and the water appears really clear, so it's easy to see. We do a lot of tournaments together, me and my son. We own property in uh, Levering. So it's kind of like, you know, we just come up here and we come out here and fish with a bunch of people we know and have a good time. It's actually pretty fun. Is it about winning for you or is it more about uh, the experience? Uh, probably experience and winning both. Um, everybody likes to win. Um, it's actually uh, spending time with my son all the time is really, really, really good. Um, but uh, winning is good too. Michigan has the best fishery, I, I believe, in the whole United States to me. Um, we've probably caught probably close to 200 fish this weekend. So uh, with practice and the tournament. And I believe we're really close to 25 pounds in our bag for five fish today. So, um, and it's beautiful. Look at it. It's beautiful up here. So, just awesome weather and awesome people. This is My Michigan TV. Around here, we just call it my, my. Pure is what you make of it. It's how the hustle of the cities can change the course of history. It's the beauty of the things we create on a canvas, on a plate, or stretched high above the sidewalk. It's a patch of green or a stretch of blue right in the heart of downtown. It's the buzz of it all, or if you prefer, it's tuning it all out. Clear your schedule and pursue your pure in Pure Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. 
Welcome to Mackinac Island. I'm so excited to kick off the 2022 Pure Michigan summer travel season. We are here to give you some incredible ideas for your summer vacation. Well, yay. <laughs> This is My Michigan TV, a unique new streaming television network. To watch, simply add our app to your smartphone or smart TV. You can also watch online at mymytv.com. My Michigan TV, my my. What was it like in the water? To be honest, I was kind of getting bored until I caught my fish and then I actually started having lots of fun. <laughs> what was your reaction when this fish hit the hook? Yeah, I was super happy and surprised about it. And I was kind of like, oh my gosh, no way. There's no way I just caught that. With these two beautiful lakes and the river, there's nothing better than a fishing tournament like this with payback bass to bring folks into town and see all the great things there are to experience in Indian River. We had a lot of compliments about how nice the town was. You know, people walked the trails. They went to the restaurants. There's even a nice nightlife here. Uh, even though these folks are getting up in the morning just to be able to say, hey, I can unwind, go have a nice dinner, and then have a, a cocktail or a drink, or we have a cigar bar, so go have a cigar afterwards. They really enjoyed the diversity here in town. I think we have about 50 boats that came to participate, and I think there's a $5,000 prize. And, well, this is Indian River. It's the most beautiful place in the U.S. There's something here. Uh, spring, fall, and winter. And then spring and the fall, a uh, lot of fishing up here. Winter, when the things freeze over, the lakes, excuse me, the lakes freeze over, you have a, a, a heavy traffic for ice fishing for trout, burbot, perch. And then you have morel mushrooms in the spring. You have the fall color tour in the fall. Uh, back in the winter, you have a, a diverse group of snowmobilers that come up. We have what is roundly considered some of the nicest groomed trails in the state. So. It doesn't matter what the season is, whether it's summer, spring, fall, winter, there's something in Indian River for everybody. One of the beautiful things about Indian River is you can experience Petoskey, you can experience Mackinac uh, Island, and you can experience Gaylord, uh, and you can do it from here, and it's half the price for the same quality or better. So you know, go to the big town during the day and come back here to the quiet Indian River and relax at night. You're, you're watching a fish weigh in after the big bass tournament. Talk about it. Oh, you, there ain't nothing better than watching these big fish come in. You know, you see a big one come in and you think, wow, and then two people later, they got one twice as big. It's pretty exciting. Looks like you got the best seat in the house here, yeah, too. Yeah. You're right here. Yep. Got here a little late, but still got a good seat. You don't look intimidated by the people in front of you. <laughs> it's pretty intimidating to watch those bags go across. <laughs> so... Here's five that we got. They're all, I don't know, pretty decent fish. Um, yeah, four and a half, five and a half pounds. Yeah, it's, it was tough out there, especially on Burt Lake. Super tough. Um, so we had to do some things we didn't normally want to do. But uh, it ended up working out pretty good for us. Tell everybody what's going on. <laughs> uh, they're getting ready to weigh five fish. We're going we're gonna to ask for a big one here. Or they're gonna ask us for a big one. I don't even know which one it is. <clears throat> What's the biggest bass you've ever caught? Biggest bass I've ever caught? Uh, just shy of eight pounds. And how big are these? Uh, these average five pounds. Let's go see how we did. <clears throat> uh, 15. Think you excited to see the, the number? We're very yeah, yeah, pretty excited. Uh, le last year didn't work out too good. I broke my trolling motor on the drive, so I actually got to fish this year. So five eleven. What do you think? I don't think that was. I don't think that was our biggest. <laughs> I think we picked the wrong one. But uh, get another shot. No, we just get one shot. That's it. Yeah. All right. So now our total. So now they're going to total, total yeah, all out? Yeah, total weight. Oh, no. 
So you happy with that performance? No. <laughs> no. All right. I thought it was much higher than that. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks. This is My Michigan TV. Around here, we just call it My My. Pure is what you make of it. It's feeling the sun warm your skin and a cool lake wash away your cares. Pure is turning a lighthouse into your North Star and letting a ride through the woods turn into dinner by the shore. It's taking it all in and never taking anything for granted. The sun sets, the moon rises, and you realize the end of one perfect summer day is the beginning of another. Pursue your pure in Pure Michigan. This is My Michigan TV, a unique new streaming television network. To watch, simply add our app to your smartphone or smart TV. You can also watch online at MyMyTV.com. My Michigan TV, My My. Well, we got a good sack. I, I don't know if it's going to meet uh, Burt Mullet's standards, mm -hmm. but we're going to put them on the scale and see where we come. How was the fishing? Uh, it was good. Uh, last couple of days was a little tough because it was windy, but today it was excellent. We caught a lot of fish. Uh, hopefully, we, we still had one we needed to call, though. Did you have a good time up here in Indian Northern? Absolutely. This is a beautiful place, beautiful lake. All the people are great. We're happy to be here. Does it always take this long for the guy in front of you? To get, that's, you you got to be like, the anticipation has got to be big right now, huh? Well, that's okay. The main thing is, is he's getting the scales uh, uh, correct on this side. So that, that means a lot. Well, you want to have your fish weighed the right way, right? That's right. All right. That's right. Yeah, I fished the Bassmasters Open, and I also fished Major League Fishing as well. Uh, this is a team event put on by Jeff Cox, and they usually do a very good job uh, on these team events. I've been fishing it for years. Uh, we've cast a little money. It's, it's, one of the, it's the biggest and, and give away the most money in the state of Michigan. So I'm proud to be here. The only difference in this one and the other ones is uh, they're single events. We've got five, five alive. Absolutely. Five fish, all brown. All live? Yep, all live. we are going to weigh a big fish. All live, all brown. You want a big fish first? Yes, sir. Yep. All right. Four ninety-eight. A little bit, a little bit off. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, baby, not working on that side, huh? It's working on it was. No, it stopped. It stopped again? Yeah. 22.20. Yep, so I was right on the money. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. Tied for second place between Neil Vanderbeesen and Mark Smith and Jeff Utrecht and Kenny Plinser with 24.36. Big bass for the regular big bass pot was Anthony Gall. How much it weighs? 588? 588. 588. He also lost a whole bunch of money because he did not get in the side pot. That is true. <laughs> 
Jacob and Ron Williamson. Good job, man. Is that you? Thank you. You want it in, in front of the banner, Jeff? Or? Yeah, in one second. Uh, got the yep, Jeff, we're going to get him. Thank you. You can go. You can watch out there. We're going to get him. Yeah. I don't even hear it. Yeah. This is My Michigan TV. Around here, we just call it My My. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Welcome to Mackinac Island. I'm so excited to kick off the 2022 Pure Michigan summer travel season. We are here to give you some incredible ideas for your summer vacation. Well, yay. <laughs> This is My Michigan TV, a unique new streaming television network. To watch, simply add our app to your smartphone or smart TV. You can also watch online at mymytv.com. My Michigan TV. My. Ron, that first place trophy is looking pretty good. Talk about it. Uh, it was. It was the morning start. Our practice went really well. Um, we were excited. And then we got like fourth to last boat pick. And then we got a little depressed. And then we went out there and my son just went to it first thing in the morning and uh, banged out. We had five of the fish that we needed. So we, then we went and searched for the other big ones. And uh, daddy ended up pulling in one of them big ones. So I helped out. So, but this is the man you need to thank right here. So what was your trick? Uh, catch him off my live scope. Talk about that. Uh, it was a little cloudy and windy, so you couldn't really see the beds that good. And I could see the beds in my live scope, see the fish swimming around. So that's why I targeted the beds and caught them. So what about that check? You guys going to split that 50-50? Yeah, yeah, they or, you know, it for us. Oh, they already yeah, did. Yeah. 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 They, they've all not right, taken any, not, <laughs> nothing to chance here at all. No, no. Talk, just now that you've won this, just talk a little bit about fishing in this area. I had some people telling me uh, a couple of minutes ago that, the best smallmouth bass fishing maybe anywhere is right here. Don't say that. No, it's terrible. Don't come up here. There's no <laughs> fish. There's no fish. You can't catch them. No, no, no. That's not true. I mean, but it was really good. Oh, yeah. It's it's amazing up here. But, I mean, it's hard in the summer, Just but if you come up this time of year, you'll have the time of your life. So, Andrew, uh, you pulled actually physically the biggest the fish. Biggest fish the, the biggest fish in the tournament. I'll very talk very about happy it. about that. So, one thing I like to do is find big fish, and I found big fish again today. And uh, it was a 588, and it was a funny story. I asked my buddy to check it the day before. Uh, it must have been the mail. He said it's not worth stopping for in the morning. So it was actually fish number three or four in the rotation, and he was still there, and that's it. Hey, you know it was a serious contender when you when you got it when on it the got hook. In the net. When it yeah. got in the net, I was like, that's a big fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, most of us who catch bass don't catch bass anywhere near the size of the fish you guys hauled in here. Oh, these are special lakes, though. These are uh, some of the best lakes in Michigan, and I've, I'm really happy we come back here. And, you know, Indian River's great, and the fishing itself is phenomenal. You can't beat it. But the, their, their flaw is their... 
they're predictable this time of year. Good luck catching them in September. That's all I gotta say. All right, well, get to Indian River. May put a note in your calendar. Get up here in the spring, right? Absolutely. Get up here in the spring, and right after Memorial Day is, uh, well, it can be different. It can, each lake's fire at different times. These are these are biological creatures. They go off of what's going on with the sky and the temperature and the rain and the wind. So they they know better than anyone what's going on. So we just have to predict it. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Well, there you have it. Bass fishing at its very best. And I hope you enjoyed the coverage of that event today. It's just one of the many things going on here in Indian River, right off I-75 in northern Michigan, not far at all from a lot of those destination locations you like up in northern Michigan, Mackinac, Petoskey, Harbor Springs, Alpena. You can come stay right here and enjoy an awful lot of things, not the least of which is all the local good times on the Indian River, Burt Lake, Mullet Lake, Crooked Lake, everything right here in this area. Have a great time on a beautiful day in northern Michigan in Indian River. For My My TV, I'm Dave Scott.